Hello everyone and welcome back to Educator.com. In this mini lesson, we're going to go over the first page of the a Physics Worksheet on Electric Potential, and you can find a link to that worksheet down below the video. With that, let's dive right in. Number one, if one joule of work is required to move one coulomb of charge between two points in an electric field, the potential difference between the points is, well, potential is going to be the work or the energy divided by the charge, so that will be one joule over one coulomb, or just one volt. And one times 10 to the zero, 10 to the zero is one, so number one is just a fancy way of writing one volt. Our correct answer, one. Number two, the diagram below represents a positively charged particle about to enter the electric field between two oppositely charged parallel plates. The electric field will deflect the particle. Well, let's think about it. A positive charge is going to be attracted to the negative and repelled by the positive, so it's going to get deflected that way towards the bottom of the page. Correct answer, number four. Number three, what is the total amount of work required to move a proton through a potential difference of 100 volts? Well, if potential difference is work divided by charge, then work is just going to be charge times potential difference. In that case, we're going to say work they'll feel the same force. But which will have the greatest acceleration? Well, if they have the same force, they have different masses. The one with the smallest mass is going to have the greatest acceleration, and that's going to be the electron. Correct answer there must be number three. All right, one more here. An electron is accelerated through a potential difference of 2.5, whoops, excuse me, a potential difference of 2.5 times 10 to the fourth volts in the cathode ray tube of a computer monitor. Calculate the work in joules done on the electron. Well, if V equals W over Q, then W, our work, must be charge times voltage. So W is equal to the charge on an electron, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, times the voltage, 2.5 times 10 to the fourth volts. And when I do that, I come up with a work done on the electron of about 4 times 10 to the minus 15 joules. 
All right, that takes you through page one of the worksheet on electric potential. If you had trouble with it, now would be a great time to go review the lesson on electric potential. If it went very well, then you're probably ready for the AP level problems. Thanks so much for your time, everyone, and make it a great day.